Hello and welcome to the Dutchin channel. It's Saturday the 11th of May 2024 and it's approaching 20 to 9 in the evening and we're here today with the results show from the meetings today at Lingfield, Ascot, Nottingham <coughs> and Leicester. And just to let you know, it's been a fantastic day. It was due £346.47 profit. So an absolute wonderful day. And I say it was needed. We were still in front anyway. But it was good to get one of those on the board. So let's go in and have a look at our stats on our profit and loss page. You can see there the stakes over the period of the day today was a thousand pounds and a return of thirteen forty six forty seven, giving us a profit of three hundred and forty six forty seven on the day. And down the bottom here you can see my profit in fifty pounds has jumped to six hundred and fifty nine seventy three. And anybody else that's one of works to the one pound stake you would be 13 points profit up for may so if you're on for 10 pounds you got 10 times that and that's only in the first 11 days so it's a, a been a very good day today so let's have a look at the individual meetings we started off with ascot we went through the card we had five straight wins at ascot so that gave us a profit there of £250 today. Lingfield wasn't so great. We just had one winner and one part winner. Gave us a £63.84 loss. Then the evening meeting at Leicester. This was pretty much, we come out level. We just lost £1.80 at Leicester. And going back to Nottingham yesterday when we only had four races and the first three let us down badly. Today we had three winners and three part winners. That gave us a profit of £162.11. pence. The reason I've left this <coughs> in pink here is because the prices have disappeared of what they returned on Betfair. So I roughly know that the winner was 3.1 that we had. The one above that would have gone off around 10. So I know at least we would have had the winner for full £100 there. So down in the bottom right hand corner, £346.47 was a, a fantastic day today. And that was again 20 races. And we've seen this over the course of the last couple of weeks where... We've had 20 races and been so unlucky. I've even put that in the last two days where we've been really unlucky. So let's have a look at today's results. You can see there down the bottom, we've only got four in red, which was proper losers. And then we've got two in dark orange, which means they were part winners above £50. And the light orange ones those three tell us that these were the returns back having the winner but for the lesser amount than 50 pounds so we're going to start at ascot where we went through the card and in the 130 we started off there with the favorite qatari it wins at 4.7. We didn't have the second, third or fourth, I might add, but the winner's what we needed there. Then in the second race, the 205, Belarchi, I mean, I gave that in the morning. I think it was around 18, I think. And then it went off at 12.5. If you're back in those first and second selections, you're still showing a nice profit, by the way. 12.5 was the second winner. Then moving into the 240, obviously the more runners you have, the more bigger prices you get, the more selections you've got. And the Wizard of I came through for us. But not only that, Ramazam I thought was going to win at one point. We had that as well. Bless him I thought was going to win. We had that as well. That was our top selection. 
at 73.58. And Hickory run on to be fourth, and we had that one as our second selection. So a very good race in the Victoria Cup there. Then we moved into, there was a gap after this. We didn't have nothing in the Derby trial or Oaks trial, but I wished I'd have put them up. I don't know how I would have done, but I should have put them up on a separate video, really. Then moving into the 420 at Ascot, we had Warder Jamila was our second favourite at 3.85. And this came through and won nice and easy. And then into the last race, another massive handicap. And Northcliffe, we had given this one. But we had the second Holcomb Bay anyway. And the winner there was 29.8. But even our selection behind that would have been on 21. So that was every winner at Ascot, but don't sort of look at it and think, oh, is that a 20 to 1 winner, a 10 to 1 winner, 5 to 1 winner, don't forget, all my winners become evens because of how many I bet. So, five straight wins at Ascot, then we went over to Lingfield, this was going while Ascot was running, Lingfield was running sort of parallel to it. And in the 150, a first, the first selection that won here was a Merrick. Did win quite well, actually. But it wasn't the one that we wanted. True Legend came second, but it was nowhere going to be in front by the line. So that was our Merrick. We got money back on it. We did lose, but we did get money back on it. Then in the second race... Uh, or the second betting race at Lingfield. We only have four bets here today. The 335, our top selection, Great Generation at 4.33 was the winner. So we duly made money on that one. But then, <clears throat> as I say, we've only had four losing bets all day out of 20. And two came in consecutive races at Lingfield. The bottom selection here was Secret Bid. That came through and won. Uh, Sky Warrior was second. And I mean, the, the winner was 17.8, which one of our other ones could have easily been one of those. Then we moved into the 445, Law of Average. This went our favourite. I didn't really fancy it, but it was our next selection in line to back. And we did have the second there split the profit. So that was the two afternoon meetings there. Then on Racing TV, we had Nottingham, and I had to keep changing channels. So here, the first winner in the 145 was Russian Rumour. Again, it got us some money back, but it wasn't a great result. It was our last selection. Again, I hate them ones, <clears throat> but it just so happened that it was something back. Liberated Lad... We had that was second there. I'd rather have that reversed it. Then into the 255, our second selection here, Crazy Luck at 14.27 was the winner. And I had this one last week, this star of Lady M. And I thought that was going to do something again today. That came last. So we had the winner in that one. Then this is, I say, the, the prices have all disappeared for this. Hopefully I'll get them when I get up in the morning or something. And Haymaker was the favourite, that one. I had the second as well, Dickie Bird. <coughs> so that was that. Then moving into the 405, yet another one of these last selections. But again, this one was quite a good one. We had a, a high percentage on return. So Spirit Genie won this at 10.53. And then we had the full winner of the next race. This was a second selection in Rukana, 6.96. This one came through and it beat our top selection, Phoenix Duchess. And Classy Boy was in third. And then into the last race, oh, I hate it again, that last selection, one that keeps winning. I think I'd be better off just doing level stakes on the last selection, to be honest. 
And this was Smooth Selassie <coughs> at 17.5. And this one, but we only had stakes of £3.7. pence, But it did get our money back. And my top selection there, Dandy Fitz at 25.7 was second. So then we went into Leicester. This was the final meeting of the evening. And the first race there, you got it. That last selection again came in. That was Catherine Shree. That basically got our money back in that race. So that wasn't too much of a problem. Now my best bet wasn't the best bet of the day, but it was one to follow in the notebook, and I don't know if you did follow it, but it led all the way till maybe the final two or three strides, 29 it went off, and it just got touched off by Road Tornado and D-Day of Alan Riva. So those two just come past it in the last couple of strides. If you watch that again, you'll see that Golden Echo was unlucky. But we still need to keep that in the notebook and back that each time. Then in the 6.55, our top selection comes in here. This is Charon C, Josie Gordon, 8.65. That's one at. We had the second and the third as well. But the winner was all we needed. Then into uh, well into the 7:55. I don't know if anybody watched this at all, and I'm not sure how long the the rider of Carthac is going to get. But if you watch the race, the only reason War of Words won that race is because Carthac came from the left hand side of the track. The jockey had his whip in his wrong hand, in the left hand, and he kept going left and left and left and took the favourite out on the rails. That was Nikovo, which I've got to be honest, I think would have won it. And War of Words was already beaten by this time. And Carthac then runs up the rail where he's taken the favourite out. And War of Words has come back and beaten him on the line. And Law Supreme is rallied to get the third. And the favourite was out the frame. They had a steward's inquiry. War of Words, of course, did nothing wrong. Was always going to keep the race. But Karthak, who finished second, gets demoted to fourth. Law Supreme, who finished third, gets promoted to second. And Nivoco, the favourite who finished fourth, has been promoted to third. So I'll be interested to see what the jockey gets for this, but I um, don't think it's going to be good. That's mostly the worst bit of race riding I've seen for a long, long time. And then in the last race, the favourite here, Isle of Wolves, went off a very short 2.42, especially in a low-grade handicap. And I thought, we must have a chance of anything beating it. And Angel on high, my top selection at 10.6. This run really creditable. But of course, out of anything that's going to come out the pack to win it, I'm not expecting it to be one of the bottom three. Any other one that we back would have been a full winner near enough, except Corporate Raider. So three Dons comes through, and that's returned at 21, and the favourite was second. And as I say, we held on to Angel of High for third. But otherwise, it's been a really good day. You know, when you look at the reds that we've had, it makes a change. That's all I can say. Yesterday, we went through all the cards again, and we were just touched off. And I felt we were very unlucky yesterday. I know we lost 200 and something the day before. I thought that was very unlucky as well. And today it went our way and we got all our money back. So I'm really happy with that. And now what I'm going to do is put up the selections for tomorrow. But there is only one meeting. So I think what I'll do, I may add that onto this video. So let's just have a look at this for a moment. 
I'm going to close that one. I'm going to close this one as well. And tomorrow's meeting, which will be the 12th, <coughs> there's only one meeting, flat meeting that is in the UK. This is at Newcastle. We've got six betting races. I'm going to add it onto the end of this video. It's pointless doing one just to read out a few names. So tomorrow, Newcastle, 307, Bulmer Bank, Tierney, and Mr. Wonderful. That's the 307. Then in the 417 at Newcastle, Sea Legend, Molinari, and Sense of Worth. Then in the Newcastle 452, we've got Yeoman, Furzig, Ludo's Landing. Then in our fourth betting race, we've got the 527, Chaturanga, Monsieur Melee. Then in the 630 at Newcastle, Northern Spirit, Swiss Ace, and Zip. And in the 7 o'clock at Newcastle, First Folio, Just the Spark, It Just Takes Time, and King's Lynn. So they're tomorrow's selections with the only one meeting we're going to be covering. That's at Newcastle. So that's the results show done for this evening. I'll be back tomorrow morning with the Newcastle Exchange Dutching Prices, whatever you want to call it. So I'll be back with that tomorrow morning. Otherwise, I'm glad you all had a good day and I'm pleased that we've got some losses back and are sitting quite pretty 11 days in. Thanks for watching.